So we do the local anaesthetic, the, the labial infiltration first, so that we can then, so that we're now numbing up the papillae on this side. And in order to numb up the palatal gingiva around here, what we're going to actually do is to come through the papilla. Okay, that's why it's called an intrapapillary. Right. Yeah. Now you've got the, the crest of the papilla about here. The bone in a, in a healthy situation, not a periodontal case, is probably about this sort of level here. Okay, it's about six, five, six millimeters or so. And where we're going to be wanting to go is somewhere in between that, so that as we go through the papilla to the other side, we're not hitting the bone in between. Yeah. So we go through the to the place. Yeah. Bit by bit. Okay. And what we're doing is, so this is going to be numb. Then, as the needle goes in, and we deposit a bit of local anaesthetic ahead of the needle, yeah. it numbs up. So um, the patient doesn't feel anything all the way oh, okay. because it's um, because it's always numb ahead of the needle. The only time they do slightly feel it sometimes is as it comes through on the palatal gingiva. Oh, okay. Is that just effective or more? It's as effective as getting the, the bladel numb enough, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but it just avoids having to give inje in an injection into this very tight mucosa back here, which is not particularly comfortable. Huh. I've had injection up there. No, no one particularly nice. Okay, so what I do first is, having given the labial infiltration, kind of giving it a bit of time to work, I just check with a sharp probe just to see if the patient can feel any discomfort. So I'm just going to pop something sharp here. You may feel me pressing, but it shouldn't be sharp. Does that feel sharp at all? No. How about there? No. Okay, is it? Oh. Or about a bit there? Yeah. yeah. Let's just check here again then. No. no. Yeah, no. So my anesthesia probably hasn't come forward enough, is there? So we'll give, the, we'll give this infiltration here. By the time that's done, that may well have numbed up there. All right. So what we're going to do, you just turn to your right for me slightly. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do, okay. You have to sort of steady your your needle quite often with your, with another finger in these cases. So we're just going to come in perpendicular to the, the pillar there. Okay. Actually, let me just give you something that's you know I'll have, I'll have that what I'm going to ask you to do, do in a moment is actually zoom in if you can to get the palatal mucosa. Okay. Because okay. what we're going to look for is to see when the palatal mucosa blanches because that means our LA's got through. Yeah. So, just close up again there for me. Okay. So I'm just going to deposit a bit of LA there, and there's quite a lot of resistance, because it's not a lot, it's not like a, a sulcus where you've got a lot of space for your local anaesthetic to go. So, you tend to find there's quite a lot of resistance. So I'm just depositing a little bit. You can see it blanching a little bit there. I'm just going to advance it a little. See all that blanching. You okay there? Uh huh. Yeah. Just blanching. Now, sometimes what you find is you hit the bone, and you've gone in a little bit too low. In which case, you just need to come back out again and go a little bit more crystal. Okay. A little bit of LA coming out the soft. So you can see the, the palate blanching, intrapapillary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Great. Okay, I'm just going to keep on going. Oh, oh we'll come through the other side now. That's right. <laughs> you saw the need to just come through the other Okay. And usually a patient will want to rinse out after this because, mm. <laughs> because you've got quite a lot in your mouth by the time we get that. Okay.